Hi there, welcome to Sketchpad IO, Intro to Basic Drawing and Painting Tools. To get to Sketchpad in your browser's address bar, type sketch.io backslash sketchpad backslash. There are other versions of the program and I feel that this one is the most stable when it comes to certain actions taken using the program. This is also the most recent. Once the program is on your screen, you should see a toolbar on the left. All the tools are labeled, and as you move your cursor over each of them, the name of the tool will appear in a red box. One of the first things you should do for good practice is to set up your page for your project, as certain projects may require different page sizes. Click on the plus button, and here you can change your page size and type of paper to use for your project. In the first section, click on choose preset size and here you have a variety of different paper sizes. If you plan on printing out your project, it's always a good idea to select one of the paper sizes. Here, let's select photo 8 by 10. Now those measurements will appear in your width and height. Go ahead and select blank. And now let's click create. You now have that paper set up as your canvas. Now for good practice, it's always a good idea to zoom into your page and see all four corners. To do this, select the tools from the side menu, select the magnifying tool, which is your zoom tool. And if you're using a mouse with a scrolly, you can simply scroll in or scroll out to see your paper. If you're using a trackpad, simply drag your finger on the trackpad up and down on this slide bar and it will allow you to zoom in and out or plus or minus. Place your finger in the center and you could adjust it to see the page. Now let's explore the drawing and painting tools. The drawing and painting tools are located in the main, main tool tab and it will appear here in the secondary menu under the painting tab. The last tool that you used is the one that will appear. This one was calligraphy. If I click on it, it will now open the rest of my drawing and painting tools. As you select a tool, that tool will now be shown in your tool menu. To change the color of the tool, click on the outline box. This will give you different menus to choose from for your color. You have from solid colors to linear colors, radial colors, and drawing with patterns. If you want to change the transparency of the color, which is how see-through you would like to have that color, simply drag, click and drag here on this water drop and that will display a sample of what the opacity would look like and also give you the percentage. Now, to change the line of your tool, simply slide the line slider to the right, paint the sample of your line to determine which sides you'd like to draw with. If you need a thicker line, keep moving to the right. The larger the number displayed in pixels here, the thicker the line. Now to delete, you can simply click on your undo button and that will undo backwards in order everything that you've done. Or you can click on redo to redo that. Now my suggestion is to delete something, select your selection tool. And with this, you can select any line that you've drawn, select it, click on it, and click on delete on your keyboard. Now, to add color to the inside of a shape, make sure 
that that shape is fully enclosed. You don't want to have any gaps or holes like this in your shape. You need to be sure that all your shapes are enclosed or all the lines are touching. Now to add color to the interior part of that shape, select your paint bucket, make sure that it is on pixel fill, and select a color for your fill, and now simply click where you would like that color applied within your shape. You can also simply change your mind, and change the color by automatically choosing what you would like and it will give you a nice display of it. This concludes our introduction to Sketchpad.io basic drawing and painting tools.